I'm coming at you today with a little different approach. Here I am, naked face. We're gonna get ready together. I'm gonna drink a little coffee and we're gonna talk about what's going on with the business and the new products and the holiday launch, okay? So with that said, um, I do wanna start out by um, catching you up to date with what's going on in my life. I made it back from Florida. Um, Re-entry was exciting. My youngest daughter, Jana, was in a car accident and that was a frightening scare for sure for all of us because she's nine months pregnant. She's due at the end of September. So that was a whirlwind. My mom was sick and then I got sick and you know, life happens and you just wind up and here we are, it's September 12th. I don't even know how that happened. But with that said, uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk today and I'm going to show you a look that I created that I think uh, is going to be the most fantastic look for fall. Most people want a nude or neutral look. And so I was thinking a lot about this and what can I do to create something that's easy, that can be changed quickly. And so that's what we're gonna do today, all right? Um, I'll tell you about the look as we go through. First of all, I'm gonna be putting on and my skincare and prepping my face. Uh, with that, I wanna start with a little bit of a story time. We have a very prominent dermatologist. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is eye primer, by the way. Eye primer is going to be discontinued. So if you use or love or want eye primer, I would suggest that you stock up on that. I don't know the reasoning behind it and I have no answers whatsoever for that. Absolutely zero as a director. Anyway, back to my story time. Uh, we have a very prominent uh, dermatologist in our area. Her name is Dr. Helen Torok. She is who I went to in 1984 when my had blemish prone skin and she told me that I should quit using Mary Kay, not use it, that it was a horrible product. And ironically, I had just signed my agreement to join the company. And so I didn't know what to do. So I called Diana and I told her that this woman told me to quit. And she said, you know, well, you know, let's see what we can do. Let's work around it. And I said, okay, wow. Is that like a pivotal life-changing moment right there or what? That I chose to um, move forward with Mary Kay instead of listening to her. We also had a big time director in Medina named Hope Pratt. And Hope was determined to get Helen on our side, on Mary Kay's side. And she went and talked with her and did all this. And Helen really never was on the Mary Kay boat. She would never promote it, but she would at least say, this is ferulic acid. She would at least say, um, okay, you know, it's not a horrible product. But, remind, you know, you have to know that she is the national set, spokesperson for Cetaphil. And so how can she promote one? And she has her own line as well. I give you that little backstory to tell you a story about our little, um, our wonderful, my office helper, our wonderful consultant, Becky Skalenka. She went to have a visit with Dr. Torak because she is a great dermatologist. And so Becky had a scheduled visit with her uh, for other reasons, not to talk about skincare and plastic surgery and stuff like that, which Helen is very into. And Helen walked in the room and was literally taken aback by Becky's beauty and the condition of her skin. I'm so proud of that. I mean, she was in awe. She was gushing over Becky. She was saying, you are stunning. Your skin is beautiful. So I share that with you because um, then they got onto another topic and Becky did not get the opportunity to tell her, you know, Helen, it's Mary Kay. I have been using Mary Kay for, you know, 40 years or however long she's been using it. But she never got the opportunity to tell her that. But I share that with you because we are going to fight aging, but we are going to age gracefully and beautifully like Mary Kay, the woman did. And uh, Becky is a great example of our product and how the products work because it's just the daily 
taking care of your skin. Because if you daily take care of your skin, you don't need to rescue your skin with all this craziness. Um, deep wrinkle filler. So anyway, that was my little story time to start out. And I just, I'm just so proud of that uh, fact. And I wanted to share that with you. Okay, my lifting serum. Two pumps on the neck. Why not? I'm worth it. One pump does the face. Okay, speaking of pumps, our new Miracle Set has launched, okay? I'm going to tell you, you are going to use less product. Oh, by the way, do you notice how after every step, the rest goes on the back of my hands? Because the backs of our hands age so much faster in our neck than our face. So it's very important that you do that. Um, our new Miracle Set, vitamin B3, age-fighting peptides, and encapsulated resveratrol. Those are a few of the key phrases that I want you to remember. You're going to be using less of this product than you are of <clears throat> using, let's say, for instance, the old moisturizer or the old, the day, uh, the day defender and the night restore or recover, whichever it is. I haven't quite memorized it yet. Uh, but the point is, is that we don't, we don't have to be perfect ladies. We have all the information on our fingertips and we can readily uh, turn to it. But the point is, is what I'm saying is the encapsulated resveratrol is in the night solution that's called Recover. And I'm telling you, it is, I, I am a product hog, like hog. I figure if a little is good, a lot is better. And I literally can almost get away with one pump. And the pumps squirt out so much less than they used to. I was like, what? You know, and I'm like, it's not enough. Too much. I mean, I had it down my shoulders, on my arms. I was doing my decollete. I mean, the whole nine yards. So, oh, by the way, this is hazelnut. Hazelnut. Great neutral shade. Doesn't have a lot of yellow, doesn't have a lot of blue, just a good neutral to give you that nice lift and definition that we're looking for. So I'm applying that in the crease. I apply it with a smaller brush and then blend it with a bigger brush to soften the edges. So this is my look. Okay, then the next step is I'm going to do my eyebrows next because I'm a weirdo and you never know what I'm going to do. Uh, I know Lori likes us, Lori Hogg always wants us to do our eyebrows after foundation. I like to do them before. I feel like it really gives me a better, a better way to work with my eyeshadow. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. Literally just penciling in the top. I'm a little all over. Anyway, so back, back to the miracle set. I am telling you folks that it, you know, I know that the price went down, but $116 and the eye cream is not included because they weren't you they can't buy the kit and get the deal because they had so many eye creams left over. So that's the reasoning behind that. And I think that's a good idea. I really think that is a good idea to um, not have the eye cream as a part of the kit because that encourages people to be consistent with their skincare on a daily basis and work with it and not, you know, and that way they're using it all up at a same use up rate. And then they're able to get the, the savings by buying the whole kit again. All right, so that's my eyebrows. Underneath my eyebrow, I'm going to put biscotti. I like this. It's almost like putting just translucent loose powder or powder under your eyebrow. I'm not a big fan of the shimmer on the brow. Uh, I think it's a personal preference, but for me, I like more of a matte finish underneath my brow. 
And then lastly, to finish it up, I'm going to be using Candlelight, which is a wonderful neutral. It's not too goldy. Me personally, I like a little, I love the gold status on me. Um, I like gold. Notice I'm just dabbing a little bit into the corner as I'm going to kind of give that brightness there. And that goes on the lid, your candlelight. And then how we're going to change our look is you can use a black liner if you want a dramatic look. You can use a blue liner if you want some color. And you can use the brown liner if you want a really natural look. Well, today I'm gonna use the blue because I want a little color. Again, watch how I'm doing this. I did it before in a video. How I'm um, just going straight up and down like this. Don't mind that phone. I'm not gonna get it. All right, so back to the Miracle Set. Um, combination oily, normal dry. I'm impressed, love the product. I think it's going to be a big seller and you're gonna be pleased with the results. The immediate results that you're gonna feel are hydration. You're gonna feel that the skin is hydrated immediately. But to really see the results of reducing fine lines and wrinkles, skin firmness and tightness, that is gonna take up to eight weeks. We wanna be realistic when we talk to our customers and tell them and, and take a before picture and say, you know, now you be consistent for eight weeks and then we'll go from there. This is the blue. I'm pushing it into my lash line on the bottom. Okay. Now, the last step that I do with my liner is to build it up a little bit on the outside edge. So it's almost like a wedge. That helps to give me a little bit of lift. All right. Clean it up a little bit underneath. Now what you can do if you want to, is you can go over this with um, eyeshadow to blend it out and make it a different color if you like. Or like, you know, you could put the, put a purple shadow over the blue and that'll give you a nice purple eyeliner that we don't have. I don't know why. I don't know why. Another thing, folks, that I don't know why. All right, we might as well get started with our mascara and put one coat on. So we did 16,000 last month, and that is about almost 10,000 short of on target for $650,000 club, but I am not discouraged because the bottom line about making and hitting that goal is that we need to add people. We need um, 300 people in our unit. Right now we are sitting at approximately maybe 190 with 129 active, just so you know the numbers. But the more people we have, the easier it will be to reach that goal. There is a special going on right now in September for recruiting and you get money off your beauty showcases. And there is a new way that you can sign up to, you can send the link virtually over your phone. Okay, so now I do not put moisturizer on my face after I put my I put the uh, Ferulic Acid on and the Lifting Serum, no moisturizer. Then I'm gonna do my, um, I apply my primer with a brush. I don't use my fingers because I really want to get it in and blend, you know, really get mix it in as a part of my skin. And then for me, the CC cream is enough moisturizer. And so I don't need the extra moisture that, to go from there. So this is medium to deep. And I'm going to blend this in with my application brush. And then you've got like a look to, to dash out the door. Look how pretty this eye look is for natural. Now I applied it with that brush and then I will blend it with 
another. This just makes it a part of your skin. It helps to really take off the, to the excess product that you might have on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, also what I wanna promote to you is we have this wonderful Mandarin Blooms. Comes as a set, the body lotion and the spray. It's such a nice, clean fragrance. It's a fragrance that is not overpowering or overbearing. Soft and clean, not harsh. It doesn't have a musky smell at all. It's a super light, floral, clean smell. The great news is I love how they did this. The shower gel is twice as big as the lotion because you know how you never run out at the same time? So the set is 30 and that is the spray and the lotion. And then the shower gel is 18 and you get that separate. Okay, folks, that is just CC cream. All right, I have no filter on. I am filming this in a cinematic mode, but I have zero filter on here. Um, just to let you know. Okay, then the next thing that I wanted to show you is, <clears throat> I'm gonna get these out of my way. These, these socks, y'all, these are the best we've ever had. They're, they're a good quality and they're a cute color. And I've seen the directors do the cutest things where they fold them like this and this, and it makes like a bow and they wrap it and they make it a bow. See how artistic I am? Anyway, for $12, are you kidding? I mean, that, I don't know. It just makes a wonderful gift for the holidays. I just think it's awesome. Then here are the eyeshadows that are for Christmas, okay? Champagne, champagne, rosé, and this is the silver one. I can't remember what the name of that one is. Before I forget, I want to move on and do my cheek color, which I have chose <clears throat> rosy nude. Great color. Again, it looks so ugly. Like it's like, ooh, that's not even very fun or bright. But look at how pretty when you put it on, it gives you color, it gives you definition, and it's a great neutral. You're not having to decide what color of cheek color is gonna go with my outfit. Rosy nude is it. It goes with everything. Now notice I put it on before I put my powder on because it does help keep it on a little bit longer, helps keep it stay. Now I would love to show you the new lip liners, but I lost all of mine in the move, every one of them. I don't know where they went. So I'm using medium nude here. And I like the new ones much better. They stay on so much better. And they really are <clears throat> waterproof. But that's medium nude. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of <clears throat> beach bronze over top. And there's your dash out the door look. Now I know that this video is taking longer, but I'm doing a lot of talking and storytelling too. So I love this look. You can change it by adding the blue eyeliner. It adds a pop of color. You can make it more neutral but by wearing a brown eyeliner. Just all varies across the board. Now, I'm gonna show you how to kick it up a notch. And let's say I'm gonna go out, which is a hilarious joke because we all know that I don't go out. Um, I'm using a, like a, a cream foundation brush and I'm taking a little bit of the champagne and I'm just gonna tap that on my lid and you have instantly sparkled that up and made it like a going out type look. So it's a great base and I'll go over it again. It's hazelnut, biscotti and candlelight. This is champagne that I'm putting on top. And I'm just putting it, 
you know, you watch those videos and she and they usually just put it right on the lid. And that's what I'm doing. And look at the difference. Look how that just brightens that up and brings it out. So those are super, super awesome. Okay, I mix translucent loose powder with my setting powder. My silky setting powder. I like the way that works a little better. So mixing those two is a good deal. So I have finished my look. And the last thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of finishing spray. I need to get a new bottle. Anyway, that goes in the trash. So you get the point. Um, okay, uh, last thing that I wanted to share with you was I had a little, I had a little uh, tip that I have posted here. You know, I'm gonna tell you what, ladies. People want us to be real. We need to do what we know is best and be real and promote this product in a real and authentic way. Consumers are too smart now. I mean, we don't need a trick or a gimmick or a gig to, to get them to try either, you know, either they want to try it or not. But so I came across this and I thought it was really good. So instead of saying this, instead of saying, hey, I'm following up. If you wondered if you had any more questions, I'd love to work with you. Like this is after you give somebody a sample or something. I say you give them a sample of the skincare. Uh, you know, I'm following up. I wonder if you had any more questions. I'd love to work with you. You need to be a little bit more matter of fact and become a little more detached. And you want to say something more like this. And I wrote this down. Hey, I tried to reach you a few times and didn't hear back. Where should we go from here? You know, we don't need to beg anyone to buy this, but the competition is stiff and everybody is out there barking for business. You know, I saw it the other day when I opened up my Facebook page, one of my friends, her name is Wanda, she said, posted and she said, why do I open my Facebook page and everybody is trying to sell something? And that hit me because we're all on Facebook for different reasons, but we need to be smart and savvy and ahead of the game instead of getting out there and hounding and trying to pound. We need to attract and we need to become more detached and matter of fact and say things like, I've tried several times to reach you. I didn't hear back. Where should we go from here? And then if they don't answer, no answer is an answer. And we move on to somebody because there is somebody out there that needs us and wants us. I'm excited for September. Uh, last, well, let's see. This week, we have the big event at the winery, which I'm super excited for because we've, we're celebrating Mary Kay's 60th year anniversary. And we're going to do a little happy anniversary video. So watch for that. And then also this week is Jimmy's baby shower. So I'm working hard on that as well. But you know what? I'm integrating life with my Mary Kay career. I'm working it the way that I know that is best and how I was taught from Jeannie and from Di. And that's what I've got to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I sure do miss being in person with my people. I hope to see as many of you as I can on Wednesday night. And I love you. Have a great week.